Shit. Well, he was a college graduate who had just gotten engaged, and he was ready to plan the rest of his life. But he was murdered after exchanging words with his Uber Eats driver. Today, that driver was convicted and sentenced to life in prison. Joe Hankey has reaction from the victim's family in court. Joe. A Fulton County jury needed only a few hours to deliberate this morning before finding 36-year-old Robert Bivens guilty of murdering 30-year-old Ryan Thornton. Judge Jerry Baxter read the verdict. Count one, we the jury found the defendant guilty of malice murder. Count two, we the jury found the defendant guilty of felony murder. And then Thornton's fiance, Jerrica Jones, asked the judge to sentence Bivens to life in prison. He took a lifetime from me. He took a future family, future grandchildren, a provider, a protector. He took my best friend and he took my brother. After the judge sentenced Bivens to life in prison plus five years, the defendant's attorney, Jackie Patterson, said he will be representing Bivens during an appeal. Deputies then walked him away in handcuffs. Several family members today described Thornton's contagious smile. He was the son of a retired police officer, a recent Morehouse graduate, and had been accepted to West Point. On a painful day filled with justice, Thornton's mother, a high school principal, beamed with pride for her son. The greatest thing I've ever done in my life was to be Ryan's mother. And I claim that to the world. During the trial, prosecutors took the jury back to the night of February 17th. As Thornton and Jones mourned the death of her late father, who they cremated earlier that day, the couple ordered food through Uber Eats. Thornton stepped outside his condo building to meet the delivery driver, Robert Bivens. Surveillance video appeared to show the two having a conversation, possibly an argument, as Thornton walked away. Then Bivens fired five shots at Thornton before speeding away. Jones ended a press conference this afternoon talking about her fiancé and the example he set for everyone around him. Ryan was determined to be a, 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 a pillar. He was determined to show that no matter where you are in your life, if you sit down and take that time to really, really do something, you can. And so from, from him, I learned so much about myself. And Thornton was a non-traditional college student. He started studying at Georgia State, transferred to Morehouse, and graduated at 30 years old. His family today said Ryan's legacy will become a scholarship fund. They are now setting up for other non-traditional students in Atlanta to attend college. Cheryl. Gosh, all right. Thanks a lot, Joe.